I'm Rachel with Scrap Creative Reuse, and I'm very excited to show you how to make plastic water bottle plant hangers. So first, I wanna talk about Scrap Creative Reuse. We are a nonprofit creative reuse network of centers. Uh, we offer affordable materials to communities, arts and craft supplies, school and office supplies, and just a lot of different items for creative and DIY projects that you might be doing. Our nonprofit mission is to inspire creative reuse and environmentally sustainable behavior by providing affordable materials and environmental uh, education programs to our communities. And so we do this through our creative reuse centers where you can find affordable materials uh, in stores and online. We offer green shipping. Uh, we also offer a variety of virtual educational programs, uh, school programs, teacher trainings, and private workshops. And then our sites are uh, looking at offering educational programs in person again. And so we're really excited for all the different opportunities we have to educate people about creative reuse, inspire behavior change, and help us all become more environmentally sustainable. So today I want to talk about plastics. Plastics are a big pollution problem. Virtually all plastics are made from fossil fuels, and so we continue to rely on unsustainable resources to make up plastics, many of which are single use or disposed of after only one use items. It's estimated that 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic are in the oceans. Some people know about the effects of plastic on marine wildlife, or they know about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. We know that plastics are causing a big problem throughout our entire food web due to microplastics and the inability of plastics to biodegrade. Microplastics don't break down any further. They continue to pollute our oceans and they affect the marine wildlife in our entire uh, planet food web. So we wanna think about how we can reuse plastics, how we can reduce the, the times we use plastics and what are some fun activities to get our friends and family and those around us in our community to think about uh, reuse and reducing plastic waste. So we can use reuse as a great way towards our zero waste practices as we try to lessen our environmental impact. And this can also help with creative endeavors. So Scrap Creative Reuse is happy to provide educational opportunities and information to help us all become a little bit more sustainable. So today we're gonna to do plastic water bottle hangers. These are a, a fun activity for um, folks of all ages. And um, I thought it'd be great in the springtime so we can uh, get some plants ready. So without further ado, I'll get started. So you wanna start with a plastic water bottle. I went ahead and used an X-Acto blade to go ahead and cut this one in half uh, ahead of time. You are going to have some um, rough edges. And so the materials that you'll want for this include a plastic water bottle, uh, maybe some duct tape or decorative tape. Uh, you can use paint. Uh, you'll want some twine or yarn um, and anything else if you want to add some bits to decorate your plastic water bottle. Uh, and then you'll want some plants to put in. You can also use this activity to plant seeds and it could be a great chance, especially if you leave some of the parts see-through. It's an opportunity for you to see that plant grow from a seedling. Uh, so there's a lot of different um, options that you can make with this and we just wanted to kind of show you how to sort of get started and inspire uh, you to make your own. So like I said, this was uh, just a regular plastic water bottle. I went ahead and cut it in half uh, and you, we will use both ends. And so uh, I went ahead and pre-painted one just with some um, acrylic paint and I didn't have uh, tape around, but I had this uh, nice ribbon. And so I carefully um, hot glued the ribbon around it. It did make it kind of dome in some, but I think that's kind of a cool look um, and the ribbon um, or the, um, yeah, the ribbon here won't um, be damaged too much being left outside. So once you've cut your plastic water bottle in half or your plastic whatever bottle, beverage bottle, um, you will want to put uh, hole punches, uh, four hole punches sort of on each side. And this will, will be where the twine or the string will hang uh, when you're ready to hang it outside or in your kitchen or in the window or wherever you're putting your planter. 
So that first step is to cut and prepare it. Uh, and then while um, we're going, we'll go ahead and decorate our other uh, end of the plastic water bottle. So I have uh, some different acrylic paints here, kind of varieties of the primary colors. Um, all these things are found at scrap. Uh, we get reuse items. That means that our community donates materials to us. Our uh, volunteers and staff sort and process those materials and put them out into the creative reuse centers so that people can find supplies at an affordable cost. These are substantially more affordable than a brand new bottle and sometimes you just need a little bit of a color and so it's great uh, to be able to <clears throat> to have just a little bit that you need. So I think for this one I'm going to do more more vertical but you know what I forgot my holes. So I'm going to do my hole punches and you want to go a little bit down because you want it to have enough space so that when the string is holding it's not going to be right up next to the top because then it could break um, over time. So you want to go a decent amount into the bottle for your hole punch and you're just going to do that on each side. be totally perfect. You could mark it if you really wanted to measure out and have it, um, you know, equally spaced out, but I think it'll, it'll work. However, you, as long as you have enough space that it provides support on all sides of the bottle. And so you can kind of see there we have our holes and you'll see this is the top of the water bottle and we left the cap. So that's fine to leave the cap. These will be hanging and so it doesn't need to have necessarily a stable bottom. Uh, you can have it just like that and that'll be a great way people will kind of see that that's a plastic water bottle that you're using as a hanger. And so then you can decorate your plastic water bottle however you want. I'm just kind of doing some designs, simple designs. Um, if you have washi tape or duct tape, you could use that and decorate it. Um, it could be fun to put googly eyes on these or um, decorate it with other gems or sparkly things maybe you find. I like to leave a little bit of it see-through because I think that'll be fun to see the plants but I want to decorate it a little bit so that it looks fun on my porch where I plan to hang these. Yep. And maybe we add just some other decorative little dots. This is a great activity for uh, 
kids of all ages um, getting to have fun and decorate their their uh, plastic hangers. Um, it's a great family activity. Um, it's great if you're wanting to do something fun on the um, the back patio together when the weather's nice. So. I think this is a great fun little scrap activity um, that is, is a great way to kind of welcome in the spring and do some planting. So I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit uh, before I go in and add the rim. So you can see with this one, I kind of painted the sides of it. I did a little bit of decorative on the top. Um, maybe I, I add a little bit more to it. just so it's fun. Okay, that's cute. And so then we've got our um, planters. And so what we wanna do next is after we've decorated it. And so if you're doing this all together, you might um, have everything ready and then maybe you decorate your planters and then go have a snack or do another activity for a little bit. And then once everything, if you're painting them, once everything is dry um, and you're all ready to go, you can come back and finish the planting. So when you're ready to put your plants in your planter, You'll want to take a little bit of soil. This is some, um, just like some raised bed soil, uh, just a little bit from my garden. Maybe that's a better view of it. And so maybe put a little bit of that at the bottom. This has some, some bigger pieces in it. And so that can be good to have some of the bigger pieces of um, dirt and mulch at the bottom that will kind of help um, the plant um, not retain water and not not be too soggy at the bottom where it won't be able to um, sort of release water. And then I have these um, nice plants. Um, so these come in a plastic container. I'm going to save these and reuse for other plants in my garden. So I can start um, some tomatoes or I could start some squash this summer. So I plan to reuse this. Um, if you were doing this with a group or your family, you could buy a whole bunch of small flowers um, in, in maybe a bulk uh, size and then you wouldn't have um, as many other plastic containers. But I saw these and I was like, oh, well, those are great just to have in your garden shed. Uh, so I wanted to hold on to them uh, for that. So you'll kind of loosen it out. I added a little bit of water to these kind of before um, I started this just so they would kind of be fresh and then I'm going to add a little bit in there. So I'm going to kind of squeeze it in and then get it all comfy in its new home. You can kind of see its roots around the bottom. And add a little bit more of that soil. So we have our plant comfy in there. If you needed to add more soil, you could, you know, kind of add a little bit on the top. Maybe as it kind of settles in, you'll find adding a little bit more. Um, if this was just um, a chance for you to do some seeds, then you would just fill this up with your soil mixture, um, add your seed, depending on the, the kind. Um, but if it's like a, a plant, like a tomato or um, a, a summer veggie like squash or something, you would only need to go a little bit in, but you might be able to see if you left some space clear, you'd be able to see the roots growing. Um, so it's a great science activity as well if you wanted to incorporate that into lessons. And then we want to prepare the part that will allow it to hang. So for this part, I pre-cut some yarn. Um, this is about, it's about four feet long. Um, so it's pretty long, but I was going to also kind of double, double loop them. And so uh, what I was gonna do was tie off an end really well, get a nice sturdy knot. You want it thick. Okay. 
and then loop it through your hole punch. You might have a little dirt in there now. Okay, so there's one. Kind of tuck that yarn in. There's another way you can do this if you prefer, and I'll show on the second one that's drying right now how we do that. Um, but so for this one, I'm tying each of the string a thick knot, sort of at the end where it's looped. And then I'm looping each of those individually through the four holes, and then I'm gonna bring them up and tie them together. And I'll show you another technique on the second water bottle end. I'm doing about three knots in the same spot, but it'll kind of depend on the materials you're using. Um, you know, we always want to suggest reuse. So, you know, we like to list suggested materials and options, but uh, we always like to see how people get creative, how they use something different when they didn't have exactly what we listed uh, that was, you know, for the activity. And so it's always great to see how people can just think of what you have around the house um, that, you know, you could, you could use instead of something else or substitute. And that's what creative reuse is all about, is helping you uh, learn creative ways to, to use different items. And like I said, I didn't have duct tape, but I found this pretty ribbon and I decided to use that instead. And so it makes it a lot of fun. Um, it's not just the same craft you get, you could do this um, multiple times and make it, you know, fun and unique each time. Okay, so those are in there. And then I want to bring these up. And maybe I'll give it a little bit of leeway. And so you could have um, sort of different things you do with these. You could you could tie uh, certain parts together so that it has, um, you know, maybe a braid or um, you twist the yarn together. I kind of like that it's just sort of flowing there. If you had some beads or things like that, you could string them on here and kind of add that, that additional decoration. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is pull all of my string pieces up and I want it to have a little, and so this is where you're gonna wanna test to see kind of how it hangs so that when you, when you hang it up, it'll be, even. So there's a good spot. I'm going to tie that off. Oop. So that's pretty even how it hangs. Um, that's a lot of room. I might, you know, maybe I, I make it shorter um, once I go find exactly where I want to hang this. Um, maybe I add some other decorations to it. You can also use a paper clip. Um, if you didn't want to use the yarn um, or the twine directly to hang it. So you can just tape, take any kind of paper clip and sort of bend it. You can use one end to, to strike through the yarn and then you could sort of secure that around so that if you wanted to use the paper clip, that could hang on your, your hook. If you have a hook on the, the front porch or back porch or wherever you're in the kitchen. Um, so if you needed sort of a metal hook to hang it from, um, you can use a paper clip for something like that. And there's our first plant hanger. And so we can kind of go through a couple of the other steps 
with the with the other one. All right, so it might still be a little bit wet. Um, there's a few spots I see, but I'm it's fine. I'm just gonna get it ready. So this is my ribbon that I used around the other sort of around the, the edge where it's, it's kind of sharp. And so if kiddos are doing this, you might want to be careful um, just because that, that plastic, after I cut it with the X-Acto blade, it could be a little bit sharp. It could cut you. Um, so be careful with that. So I'm just going to sort of first fit it and kind of see how much of the ribbon I need. And I liked this ribbon because it matched the paint colors I was using. So I was like, oh, okay, it'll look good no matter what I do to it. Okay. So like I said before in the other one, the hot glue is hot and the plastic will kind of bend in that heat. Um, so I took a low heat and just kind of piece by piece um, prepared to, to glue it on there. So low heat glue gun. And then luckily it kind of folds out and then I just put it to where the crease of the ribbon is right there at the crease of the bottle. And just work through that. Might have got a little dirt stuck in my paint, but that's okay. This is a garden craft anyways. So there I have um, now put my border around my plant hanger. It's much safer to sort of work around um, and it adds a nice touch of color to it. I'm gonna prepare my yarn for this one while it kind of dries a little bit more. And then we'll plant our other flower. So I think I'm gonna use a little bit shorter string on this one, maybe, maybe only about around two feet long. Okay. 
So for this sort of alternative way of doing the, the hanger string, I'm going to do it before I plant the flower so it's a little bit easier to see it. Um, but you would start on the inside and sort of loop through two of the, loop one string of the yarn through two of the holes um, that are next to each other. So we'll kind of loop it through to where there's, they're together through that. And I'm going to double, I'm going to do that twice with each string. Or those same holes, you know, put two pieces of string through those, those same holes. And then what you can do there is sort of tie off a little knot at one portion. And then you'll do it on the other side and tie them off at the top and then you'll have that little um, that kind of that little triangle that a lot of planter hangers will have that's really fun. Um, so that's how you can do that in another method. And we'll do that again on the other side. figured out to do two at once. And so you'll make sure your strings are sort of even. And then maybe you want to try to get it to where those knots are in the same area. And then you'll take all of the string pieces you can kind of pull it so that they're kind of even, and then you can tie it off again at the top. All of them together, big knot, tight. And there you have that other style of the yarn. So now we'll add a little bit of the other soil is good. And take our plant. Kind of squeeze her in. And then once you've transplanted a plant, it's always nice to give a little bit of water, keep a good eye on it for the first couple days. It's gonna be getting used to its new home and its new space. There we go. All right. Here's our other one. So now we've made a couple of plant hangers out of our different ends of our water bottle. And if you wanted to keep the one uh, that's from the bottom as just a planter, you can do that too. Um, but I think it'll be fun to have these next to each other. Um, and yeah, then you can, you know, add a little bit of water to them. Like I said, keep an eye on them, but then uh, put them up wherever you like in your window or in your 
in your craft room, um, maybe on your porch. Tell people that are coming up to your door that you like to reuse. And remember to think about ways of reusing the other items um, that we have here. So um, like I said, I'm gonna save these and put them in my garden bin and use them to do some um, summer vegetable starters for my garden uh, while I while I grow other things in it and might not have all the space. Um, for my, my paint, um, I used um, old plastic lids um, so I can reuse that and I can wash off that acrylic paint um, and reuse it. Um, for my, my paint water jar, um, I used just an old um, jar from groceries and all of these items are available regularly at a scrap creative reuse and other creative reuse centers. Um, it's a lot of fun to think of ways uh, to reuse items, to incorporate reuse into your arts and crafts um, and to help others. So I hope that uh, you got to learn how to make this fun craft, um, that you could um, use these items, which I'll, I'll show a picture of the items that were used for this and to gather your own supplies and to enjoy making your own plastic water bottle planter hangers. <laughs>